I'm a member of parliament. Uh, I'm the, the deputy speaker of the parliament of Cameroon. So I come from Cameroon. Uh, it is in 1974 that uh, the union between the two entities that make Cameroon today uh, in terms of land tenure were brought uh, onto focus. Uh, gender issues are merely emerging and are beginning becoming a cause for concern. Uh, our customary uh, law systems actually were not, as I've heard here, in favor of the female folk. But with the statutory laws coming into force, uh, gender expression has not been captured in the laws. There is the question of a protection of human rights, which one by implication would uh, believe that that means men and women, male and female human rights. But this is not very explicit in the statutes. Now the first lesson is that many countries are well ahead of Cameroon in terms of gender issues. I see the research papers that are being presented and uh, they are quite elucidating and I discovered that we are, we, are, we, are, we are a bit behind time. The lessons I'm getting from here is that we have one more step to make, to be clear about the issues of gender and as concerns the rights of the woman in terms of ownership of land. I think if I had my way, I would be uh, seeking means of uh, inviting IDRC to hold a symposium of the sort within the Central African region. So such a symposium held within the Central African countries would be of great uh, impact to its development and to its conceptual uh, 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 thinking in terms of uh, gender. I said I'm a practicing lawyer. Mm -hmm. uh, I've hardly really been convinced of customary law as such. I prefer to talk of uh, customs and usages. When you go into every uh, an African country, the first thing you face is the multiplicity of ethnic groups with divergent uh, uh, niceties in the rules that apply. And uh, proof of those rules is often uh, an issue. And you will realize that most of what we call customary laws are actually uh, interwoven with what the colonial masters brought in at the time. So it's not easy to know what was custom and what was uh, instituted by the colonial master. Of course, land as a territory is uh, the first pride of a, of a citizen that he occupies some space, some place within the territory of the nation. And so uh, it is also an instrument of power because uh, those who happen to be in possession of the means tend to acquire more and more of the land. And uh, it was simple that the law says it guarantees the right to ownership to every citizen be you male or female, but we didn't quite look at this point. What particularly ought to be the protection for the, for the female in terms of ownership? Uh, of course, that is the core content of the conference. It is uh, uh, women's rights and access to land. It quickens the mind to think differently where we have been like indulging in the generalities. I'm bound to look at the laws now from a quite uh, different perspective and to know that the gender issue ought to be brought to the fore.